So an Amazon driver ran over our mailbox. <laughs> I can't make this up. So this week, I'm gonna walk you through how to replace your mailbox from the post all the way to the box. Let's get to it. Now my wife picked out a really nice PVC post that I went to Lowe's and picked up. Very easy to assemble, just had to make sure that this cross member was 17 inches off the actual main post. There were two screws to insert, one on one side, flip it over, get it into the other side as well. Uh, like I said, super easy to put together. Then I had to figure out where to put the hole. So I measured the distance, made sure it was enough for our mailman to get it where he needs to get the mail, and then started digging, which is always fun, right? You just wanna make sure you get the hole at least 18 to 24 inches deep so that you can get the post in solidly. And our soil is so rocky and full of clay. I mean, I'm digging out big rocks like this one, which was a royal pain in the rear. And because of the density of our soil, I decided not to use cement to anchor the post. That, and I think I'm gonna end up moving it at some point. And then one of my neighbors showed up. And I almost pooped myself. What's up? Holy crap. <laughs> and yes, I laugh like Muttley. If you don't know that reference, look it up. On your post, you just have to make sure you get it measured properly so that you don't have too much heading up into your PVC. Otherwise, it won't touch the ground. Kind of makes sense. Went ahead and cut it with my circular saw. I could have pulled out the miter saw. It's just a heck of a lot easier to use the circular saw in this. Just flip over to get the second cut done, and then you can just pop off the tail end of this guy and get it ready to insert in the hole. Speaking of the hole, once you get the post in there, now if you're setting it in concrete, you just want to get it into the concrete so that it's stable. Make sure that you level often whether you're doing concrete or just straight dirt on this, just to make sure that you don't come out of level. For me, I'm just putting it straight in the hole with all of the dirt and the rocks to keep it in place. But it's really important if you're gonna take this approach to continually level as you go so that you can make sure that your post is straight. Last thing you want is to finish this and then find out that your post is super crooked. Now, if you're doing the PVC post overlay, this is the point where you wanna put it on right before you finish filling the hole. Just make sure that it's firm. Again, <laughs> make sure that that baby is straight. And then go ahead and put the screws in it. Now, you're gonna put four screws in this post. I like to put the first two close to the base where people aren't going to see it as easily. And then I put the other two right up under, not above, but under the cross members so that they're not as easy to see also. And now we get to the fun part. Put the mailbox on top of the portion that's sticking out of that PVC post and mark where you're going to put your holes. Now mine came with these brackets that I'm going to be using on top of the post here. Nice way to mount the mailbox on there. You really just have to line them up with the markings that you put in, screw them into the PVC itself so that they're in place so that you can get the mailbox mounted on top of it. Now, if you don't have those brackets, here's a quick hack. Cut a piece of plywood to fit the bottom of your mailbox. Take the plywood, put it on top of the post, drill it in, put your mailbox on top of the plywood, and screw in the sides. But I'm using the brackets, so I went ahead and put mine on top of it. Just go ahead and screw them in, all four, all the way around. And it actually ended up fitting pretty nicely. This is the first time that I've ever used one of these mounting bracket setups. Since Amazon paid to replace our mailbox, I upgraded and went with it. Turned out pretty nice, I think. And the final step is to put the numbers on the post or on the box, whichever one you prefer. Heck, I don't care. While you're here, go ahead and check out one of the other videos that you see here. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself. <laughs>